Okay, now this one is adding air conditioning into the mix. Uh, in the last one, we had the uh, integrated thermostat. Well, now we've added air conditioning. Now you'll note uh, the single pole double throw switch. It's the same one we had last time. That one is going to go from R to W or R to Y. When it goes to Y, it's going to energize the contactor. And up here, we've got a compressor and a condenser fan motor. Uh, so let's see how this one's going to sequence out on a call for cool. Okay, beginning in the low voltage down here at the thermostat, power passes through R through the now closed uh, cooling thermostat closes on a rise in temperature up through the fan auto position through G to energize fan relay R1 up in the high voltage fan switch R1 here these two switches reverse positions and power passes through fan switch R1 and energizes the fan motor back down into low voltage power passes through R and goes to Y which passes power to the contactor uh, that starts the compressor so now the contactor is energized up in the high voltage the contactor whose contacts are normally open and are now closed power passes power through the contactor one over to R run on the compressor through the capacitor to start on the compressor which starts the compressor power also passes up through here to energize the condenser fan motor so now what we've done when we've turned on cooling we've turned on our indoor fan motor We've turned on our compressor, and we've turned on the condenser fan motor. And that's the cycling for the air conditioner.